My name is Emre Aksi and I'm a professor at Kavli Institute for Systems Neuroscience in Norway. The community of Turkish scientists that are working across the world are quite dispersed. There are people, they're just not as visible as I thought they should be. Perhaps they aren't invited as many as others or they aren't as advertised as others. And I don't think this is also specific for Turkish scientists. I think it's generally, uh, there is a general stereotype that is more visible. Uh, I'm glad things are changing uh, in terms of positive discrimination. I think the world has no choice but enforce and encourage diversity. We will see more people from China, more people from India, more people from Middle East, more people from Asia. It's not about whether they should or they, they want. Um, I think this is just an inevitable fact. I can imagine a lab that is only composed of one nation or one gender or one background is a very poor environment, honestly speaking, uh, right? Um, whereas an environment where you have colleagues from all over the world, uh, had different training, uh, of course, different gender. It, it's, an, it's an exciting place to be. You want to interact with your colleagues and talk to them and learn from them. I'm a systems neuroscientist. Um, I'm actually more coming from a sensory physiology, so I'm interested in how the sensory information, our world, is represented in the brain. But I'm actually getting more and more interested over the last nine years since I started my lab, trying to understand how our internal states, our internal dynamics, the way we feel about ourselves, our, let's say, hunger or anger or something we learned, uh, changes these sensory representations in our brain. We're trying to do this in zebrafish, uh, really small animals, small brains, uh, but they actually share a lot of common uh, features with us. It's also, in general, ethically, um, I find it much more advantageous to work with these lower vertebrates. There's a lot of things we can do with these lower vertebrates. My wife and I, uh, we are working together. Uh, we have separate teams, but we are closely collaborating and interacting with each other. We have you know, same lab meetings and journal clubs and so on. As a couple in science, it has been not that easy always to find a place for both of us that we can flourish. Uh, and, and, and also, since I was a few years in, more in advance in my career, it was harder for my wife in general because I was the one who was just finishing my postdoc where she was in the mid and so on. So, uh, having that opportunity in Norway was a big deal for us. However am amazing your work environment is when you come home, if your partner is not happy, you can't be happy.